today, let's take a look at a really great airbrush for the price. This one is called the Pache Talon. Now I've heard some people call this brand Pache and others call it Posh. I'm going to call it Pache for this review, but if I'm wrong, just correct me and I'll fix it in future videos. If you buy the version that I did, it comes in this very cheap packaging. This must be one of Pache's ways of cutting costs because this airbrush right now goes for only 70 US dollars, which is incredible for what you're getting. The Pache Talon feels very well built. It's very solid and it kind of reminds me of one of my favorite airbrushes, which is the Iwata Eclipse HPCS. I wouldn't say that the build quality is as good as Iwata airbrushes, but it's pretty close. Under the macro lens, you can clearly see that there's some imperfections and blemishes within the chrome coating. I wouldn't call this bad by any stretch. It's just something I noticed, so I wanted to point out. But I'd like to say that the overall machining on all the parts is really great. Even the inside of this paint cup is very smooth to a cleanly brushed finish. This is where a lot of airbrush brands seem to cheap out, so this was impressive to see. The version I purchased comes with a very chunky 0.38 millimeter needle and nozzle. This needle and nozzle can be swapped out for different sizes, which I'll talk about later, but 0.38 makes it excellent as a general use airbrush. Painting thicker paint is gonna be pretty easy to do, and you should have no issues getting up close for detail work. The airbrush has one of these standard round triggers, which I actually really like. They're very ergonomic and comfortable to use. And the rear handle has some extra features like a cutaway. You could use this to quickly flush out any paint within your airbrush. You can also adjust your trigger tension with this knob right here while the handle's still on, which is a very nice touch. And on the back, you can adjust this knob to control how far back you can pull on the trigger. I've never been a big fan of these, but extra features is always a good thing. One thing that I'm not crazy about is that Pache has their own thread size at the bottom of the airbrush. So if you want to fit this to a standard eighth inch threading, you're going to need an adapter. So I bought this inexpensive third party quick adapter, which I'll have a link for down below, just a few bucks. And it works great. I just have this connected on and then it fits into the other end, which is connected to my air hose. So like always, let's do a quick breakdown of this airbrush so you can see all the internal parts. This rear handle has a very wide thread to it, so it unscrews in only a few turns and it feels very light, like it's made out of aluminum. And after unscrewing this chuck, we can remove the needle and here we can remove the whole spring assembly system. You're able to unscrew the spring assembly system by unscrewing this screw right here. Also, you could adjust your trigger tension with that if you loosen it up a little bit it'll feel lighter and if you tighten it down it'll be a bit tighter so after unscrewing this you can see that it consists of three parts the guide the assembly and the spring itself and to me these parts feel extremely well machined i've owned and reviewed plenty of airbrushes and this quality is really what you see in airbrushes which are double or triple the price so i'm very impressed here i'm also very happy that the trigger lever is connected to this spring guide the bottom of the trigger itself is very simple no sort of guides or hinges on it and finally we get to this very well built and solid head assembly and nozzle after removing the air cap you could see inside here that we have this very chunky nozzle. This is not a floating nozzle. It's a screw in design, but I don't mind this just because it's so large. It's very easy to grab. It's not one of those tiny ones that you see in the Awada high performance ones. And I'm just very impressed with what I'm seeing. This easily feels like an airbrush worth double the price. The air cap itself is very simple. No sort of regulation holes on it. And you'll see later as I'm painting with this that it does an excellent job of atomizing the paint. So that's as far as I'm going to go with this breakdown. You can of course unscrew the air piston assembly at the bottom of the airbrush and also with inside the body you have a PTFE seal in there if you need to adjust that to give a better seal around your needle. Now I bought the basic bare bones kit that only comes with one needle and nozzle but Pache gives you a ton of options because if you want you could buy this kit right here which comes with two extra needles and nozzles and also a fan cap which is really great if you want to spray some wider spray patterns. As I said earlier the model I'm reviewing today has a 0.38 millimeter needle a nozzle but if you buy this kit the other sizes you get is a 0.25 which is great for detail work and a larger 0.66 and that's good for some wider spray applications and i also want to point out this airbrush has a very large paint cup at just under a half an ounce so let's move along to the most important part which are the spray tests and the spray characteristics of the pache talon spraying at 20 psi with the needle fully retracted in photoshop i get a spray angle right around 18 degrees and remember that that these measurements are just approximations. They're not perfect. It's just to give you an idea of what sort of spray pattern you'll get. And as you can see from this chart, it's very similar to what you'd get with any other 0.35 millimeter needle and nozzle. This one's slightly larger at 0.38. 
but very similar to the Neo for Iwata and the Iwata Eclipse. And to check the airspeed, spraying at three and a half inches away, again at 20 PSI, I get an airspeed right around 5.8 meters per second. And this is about what I'd expect from any general use airbrush from this chart here. It's very similar to the Patriot 105 and also the Iwata Eclipse. A slightly higher airspeed like this is gonna help you spray some thicker bodied paint. It's gonna be no issue without diluting it, but it's a little bit more frustrating when you're trying to get in close for detail work. So both of these measurements are exactly what I thought I'd see and very good for this type of airbrush. Also, just quickly to test the nozzle for any leaks, I'm placing some soapy water on this with a brush. There is a small rubber gasket here, but unfortunately I get a very subtle air leak. I never like seeing this in any airbrush, but unfortunately this is kind of common. All you need to do is use some beeswax, add it on those threads, and you should be fine. Moving along to the trigger response, this airbrush is very good. It starts spraying paint at the same point every single time, but I did notice that it's a little bit farther back than what you see in Badger airbrushes or Iwatas. And I just want to point out, it doesn't matter what the paint looks like. All I'm doing here is seeing how far I have to pull back on the trigger to get some paint on the paper. So I'd consider this response rate to be very good and consistent. Checking the line consistency during a long spray, this airbrush is excellent. There's no sort of breaks, no splatters. It's one continuous, even line. And for thin lines, this airbrush sprays just like any other general use airbrush. I'm holding the needle basically right off the surface of the paper right now. I had no issues or problems painting in very thin hairlines. So I've been working on a portrait of this woman, which is going to be a tutorial for this channel within the next two weeks and I decided to switch over to the Pache Talon. I'm using a transparent flesh tone that I mixed myself. It's Createx Illustration Colors, and I'm spraying at 20 PSI. And I have to say that I absolutely love this airbrush. It sprays so well for what it's designed to do. The model I'm using here with the 0.38 millimeter needle and nozzle is not really a detail airbrush, so I had to get a bit closer to the surface of the canvas to get in some detail work, but it felt very comfortable, and it did a great job at getting very smooth transitions between blends. And just keep in mind that this painting is in the very early stages, so you're going to see some pencil lines and things like that. I was just using the Pache talent to kind of map in and set the major values for the nose. The trigger response was very good. It was consistent, sprayed at the same point every single time. I did notice that it is a bit farther back than the Iwata Eclipse or the Micron, which is what I'm used to using. It's still very comfortable, but more importantly, it's consistent and it's reliable. Now, one thing that I was a huge fan of is that if you tighten down the spring assembly that I showed earlier in the video, you can create a lot of tension on the trigger. I didn't even have it tightened down all the way and it felt excellent. I tend to be pretty heavy handed when I paint with an airbrush. I have a pretty strong grip on it, which is really not recommended for most people, but for me, it feels most comfortable. And when there's a lot of tension on it, I feel like I can pull the trigger back to the exact same point that I want every time. And for for me, the trigger design and the spring assembly on the Pache Talon are perfect. And of course, if you want lighter tension, you could always loosen that screw up to help you out. Throughout this painting, the airbrush was spraying exactly where I wanted it to, and not once during this entire session did it spit or clog. I also want to point out that the needle has a pretty high polish to it, so I had zero issues with any extra tip dry. So as you could tell, I'm obviously very impressed with this airbrush. I would definitely recommend it if anyone's considering it. I'm kind of embarrassed that I never picked this one up. I've been airbrushing for a long time. I've seen it many times and I just never got around to buying one. So this one's definitely going to go into my painting rotation tools. I could see myself using this a lot for some softer backgrounds and some gradients in some larger areas on a painting. So that's going to do it for this review. I hope it was helpful for any of you who are considering buying the Pache Talon. Again, great airbrush for the price. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be back here next week.